good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jun Bingyang. I'm the president and the CTO of California List Battery. I'm very happy to introduce our company and the product, which is called the Silicon Graphic Composite. This material is a key material for lithium-ion battery, and uh, lithium-ion battery is the the major things for the uh, power tools, uh, cell phones, and electric vehicle. Now it's a big deal. It's uh, every country all over the world, European, U.S. Asia are highly sorted for high density material, and this is the key technology. And uh, uh, this, uh, this technology was originally developed at the U.S. National Lab, Argon National Laboratories uh, on the uh, ground from RPRE program, which I, I'm the uh, principal invest, investigator and uh, uh, co-inventor. Within the two years of that period of time, we started from a concept and uh, developed the prototype and uh, uh, tested by different battery companies and uh, the U.S. Uh, uh, DOE National Lab uh, screen team. So basically, from the science point of view, this structure, the, the material, solved the uh, issues to use silicon in high energy lithium battery. And uh, uh, shows here is the. A micros microscope image of our material versus commercially available silicon anode. And uh, what's unique from our technology with other technology is that we, we have a unique called a bonded, embedded, uniform structure. And uh, see, from science to technology is a long journey. So after we demonstrate the science principle, now it's a question how you, you develop an engineer approach to commercialize the technology. That's why we're starting from 2013. We work with California Lithium Battery, which uh, we start up this company to get the technology from our laboratories. We do the commercialization, and within the past six years, we bring this technology from laboratory skill to right now the commercial uh, pre-commercial production stage. It's our reactor shows in the uh, uh, Los Angeles area. And uh, we, now we have pre-order from a material company in China. And also we, we work with two major battery companies in China. So we will, uh, expect in six months we will get a major order from the battery com company for power tool at the EV application. And uh, we, have a, uh, we have a big team. Uh, my CEO, Philip Robert, myself, mainly on technology side, and also we have a, a technical team from a Taiwan Plastic, which basically uh, have a lot of experience doing the polyethylene production, so they can help us package our core technology with industry can implement technology to we are ready to go commercial production. And we are here to raise fund for uh, 3.5 million for our US uh, entity. So basically, um, we, we have an agreement with uh, uh, Hemlock, which is a Dow Corning company, to, to serve as a contract manufacturer to produce material for us. And we have, we have licensed this technology to an uh, Argentina company. So we feel, fulfill this order to this company. And also, I see technology as uh, our Asia entity. So we make the production with Taiwan. A, a company to production. We also raised three point five million for that company. Thank you very much. So, so are you using uh, same electrolyte? All the other material system is the same. You just change the membrane, basically. Is that right? Or uh, the uh, for silicon anode, you need to also change the electrolyte binder. Everything needs to be changed. And can you use the same high volume manufacturing techniques that current batteries use? Yes. Like reel to reel sheet. Oh, this based. material, when you use this material in battery, it's a drop in replacement. Because okay. whatever you use for your graphite anode, we can use this silicon graphite. Okay, and how about uh, the lifetime of the charge and time to recharge? Um, how do you do compared to current Yes, technology? that's what we did during this past uh, six years. When, you, when I left the argon, we already know for science it's, it's good, but now this engineer, when you produce this material in large quantity, you need to really evaluate everything, when the material uniformity, what's the cycle life. Yes, it's good, so we get pre-order from the battery company. And compared to people who are doing straight silicon or straight graphene, you mm -hmm. basically, your, your pitch is that you get the best of both worlds. We, get, right? we, 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 we form a very unique structure, we right. call the embedded structure. Uh, Dr. Yang, you mentioned you're raising money for your U.S. company and mm -hmm. as well as a uh, Asian-based company. Yeah. Um, wh what's the structure between the two, and how do you how would you expect investors to uh, 
get any kind of material. Because exit. a very huge demanding for silicon anode for a high energy lithium battery. So we, we, we split the company in three entities, the, the US entity, Asia entity, and the European entity. So for the, uh, each entity, basically the, the IP owner owns the IP and the process has no how of the car battery. And uh, we, in the U.S., we team up with Hemlock to make the production to ful fulfill one order. In Asia, we team up with a Taiwan company to produce a material to fulfill another order. So that's what we raised funds for.